My name is Linda Wan. I'm Alicia Philly. My name is Thomas Cook. I'm Caroline Walker. We, we are, are ingrained. ingrained. Ingrained is a group show of new works by Thomas Cook, Alicia Philly, Caroline Walker, and Linda Want at the Georgetown Art Center in Georgetown, Texas, just north of Austin. Although we are exploring different topics and styles, the show is unified through the use of wood as our material, which unites different voices into one conversation. Color and line in nature is often an illusion. Our mind interpreting reflected light as unchanging or filling in gaps to create solid forms where none exist. I look to nature for inspiration, for ways to convey the elusive. The flowing lines of the wood grain add a literal and metaphorical depth to my abstract paintings. With the complete, incomplete timeline, I am linking the tree's annual growth rings and myself, simply 47 paintings for my 47 years. How to document my lifetime in the language of color and line. The similarities and differences from one year to the next, colors winding across, connecting paths that form today's complete work, which biologically remains unfinished. The Violet Crown Trail is part of my ongoing chronicle of outdoor spaces around Austin. The shapes of the panels, laser cut to follow the wood grain, mimic the cracked rocks that line a switchback entrance down to the creek beds. The colors stolen from the local inhabitants, berries, moss, insects, leaves, stone, and pure skylight. My sculpture combines wood with other materials like steel, resin, and augmented reality. The work creates a dialogue between the rectangular sheets of man-made plywood and the organic forms that I shape them into. Many of the organic shapes feature a twist. I find the concept of twist interesting. A twist happens when forces pull in opposite directions yet remain connected. I find this interesting both visually and metaphorically. Some of the work was created after the pandemic started. Phototropism is about seeking light in dark times. The piece sheltered in place, I created while sheltering place with some balsa wood that I had on hand. Another pandemic inspired piece is isolation. It's suddenly dangerous to hug the ones we love or comfort those who are sick. This piece has an AR element. These hearts go out to everyone around the world who's suffering alone with COVID-19. The subject matter of this series is an extension from my Nocturne show that I displayed in 2018. That series of paintings focused on the city at night, illuminating the infrastructure and construction of humankind's development. While applying my urban imagery within this wood grain technique, what evolved was a contrast between the imagery and painted surface, with the natural wood grain showing through the scenes of human construction. This alone drew attention to the contrast of nature and human development, and from this starting point, I started pushing the conversation between the wood grain and the images in different directions, highlighting the growth of urban cities against the growth of the natural world as seen in the grain of the wood. For this show, I challenged myself to push my 8 by 8 inch clear coated wood panels depicting a single honeybee into much larger and more complex compositions, which required a great deal of prep work to achieve. I ended up with 24 or 30 by 30 inch panels with Art Deco inspired symmetrical designs, juxtaposing larger than life pollinators with carnivorous plants. The artistic liberties with size allow the viewer to consider the intricate details of the pollinators in safety relative to the predators they are shown with. The various carnivorous plants are heavily symbolic to me. They can represent growth, decay, evolution, and the need to educate people about how sensitive and specialized nature really is. Seeing all the works together by different artists means a lot to me during a time when we are all kept apart. 
Even though we are exploring different topics, the wood grain unifies us and combines our voices into one conversation.